So can I get a show of hands of who's super thankful that they waited for the stock market to pull on back, right? I uploaded the past two days. Um, I uploaded a video talking about the market is at overbought levels. This is TQQQ. Uh, this is a NASDAQ ETF, right? Um, it's just, it's simply trading based off of previous patterns. And I know, right, that patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't always have to. But based off of this very common resistance level and very common support level, first off, TQQQ is super bullish. So over the long period of time, the direction is in our favor. I like to focus on bullish stocks that are consistent, but I like to focus on good deals. And because of my understanding of overbought levels, which means expensive, based off of previous trading prices, we were able to prepare our learn plan profit team, right? You guys know the previous two videos, all we've been focusing on is the swing trading challenge for 2022. My job is to invest in two to three stocks, that's it, to not overcomplicate it, and to buy the dip on cheap blue chip stocks, companies that I use every day, companies that I value. But my job is not to buy them when they're super overpriced and when they're at all time highs, but I like to buy them when they're cheap. And that just means that I have to understand oversold and overbought levels and wait for the opportunity to present itself. And just like we waited, yesterday I initiated my first entry to my position size. This is a quick little breakdown. If you're part of the Learn Plan Profit team, I made a video specifically breaking down the entire challenge that's exclusive uh, in the Learn Plan Profit Discord chat and it breaks it down step by step. With that being said, does a trade always go according to plan? Of course not. Of course not. That would be super naive for me to think, right? Just because the market sold off and now it's showing signs of a support level at previous support levels, you know, yes, it's a good sign, but I'm not going to dump all my money into it right now because it's not really indicating signs of a recovery, right? Confirmation. And we talk about this all the time within our Learn Plan Profit Group. We talk about the three stages of a reversal, rejection, consolidation, and confirmation. Right now, we're in between stage one and two. We're barely showing signs of consolidation. Today is a good sign because for the past two days, what has the market been doing? Bleeding. like Just like we prepared, right? We sold at overbought levels. We prepared for it to pull on back. I took a small position and now I'm waiting to average up, keeping trading simple. And with this, we intend to beat the market's average worth. I mean, obviously, even with just this trade, this trade alone, again, there's no such thing as a perfect trader, but this trade alone offers a little bit over 16% margin. Even if my trade is 50% of that, right? Even if I'm able to capture about you know 8% of, of the 16%. Right, there's margin for error, it's a realistic goal, and it does it multiple times. Right, support level, resistance level, we'll just have to wait for that confirmation of that reversal. I'll average up into it and I'll follow up with it, especially if you're part of the swing trading challenge. But why am I so obsessed about when the market pulls back? Because I like to buy cheap stocks like Amazon. I don't know if you've ever heard of um, Amazon stock, right? Uh, it's, it's just a uh, trillion dollar company, right? And if you haven't been paying attention, it right now is at lows of 3,200. It doesn't mean that, oh my God, you have to buy it right now. It's not about that, but it's that looking at where it's at right now, it's pretty cheap. And based off of previous prices, it offers about 8% and at you know previous highs, uh, 15%. Right now, I'm gonna formulate a plan that makes sense to me on, hey, you know, where do I plan to originally enter and where am I gonna average up and what does it need to do? Amazon is a stock that I'm paying attention to. Also, Microsoft, one of the most valuable companies that's publicly traded. How many of you guys know about this one? Microsoft, we waited for it to sell off. Why didn't we buy it up here? Why didn't we buy it while everyone else was buying it? Because it was at all-time highs. I don't care when things are at all-time highs. I don't like to overpay. Do you like to overpay? Probably not, right? But now that it dipped and everyone's freaking out, that's where our team, the Learn Plan Profit team, identifies an opportunity. We wait for confirmation and we make money as the stock simply recovers. These are not pump and dump stocks. These are not hyped up stocks. These are companies and quality companies that you and I are aware of that, again, are not going anywhere. Uh, one of the other ones that I was paying attention to was Facebook. Facebook pulled on back, but it just recovered a lot quicker than I anticipated. Uh, but again, again, you, you win some and you lose some. So it hit lows of 325. It's already back at 335. Another one that I was paying attention to 
was Apple, and I'm still paying attention to it. Apple is one of the most, if not, if I'm still not mistaken, it still is one of the most valuable companies that's publicly traded. I liked, you know, Apple is so bullish. Look at this for the past year, so consistent, so bullish. Sometimes traders like to overcomplicate it. You don't need to overcomplicate it, especially if you're struggling day trading, especially if you're struggling with, you know, just these riskier plays. Trust me, I love day trading, but I understand that it's not for everyone, for full-time students, for you know, full-time workers, I understand that it's not for you. And especially if you want to be involved in the stock market, work in an area that resonates well with your lifestyle. You can't be watching the market every day. So maybe instead of just trying to trade just all these hyped up stocks, maybe it's better off for you to understand the importance of you know, buying the dip on quality companies as they're overall bullish for a long period of time. Because even with something like Apple, if I wait for Apple to hit lows of the moving average, which is right around 170, and then I wait for it to recover, that's about 8%. That's not bad. 8% on Apple, very bullish company. You and I use it, if not know about it, right? You don't have to overcomplicate trading. It's the simple things in life that people tend to overcomplicate. Don't be one of those people. So um, I'm, I'm, as you can tell, very, very excited for this swing trading challenge. We've kicked it off already so, so well, and this is only the beginning. This is why I get so, so excited when the market pulls on back because the only people that freak out are the people that did not prepare. And now for all the people like our team that prepared for it, we're able to buy the dip and then average up as it recovers. We make money when the market recovers. We don't need the market to make higher highs. That's just the cherry on top. But we prepare for these dips to buy the dips and ride the recovery. The beautiful thing about understanding overbought and oversold levels, the principle and the focus of our swing trading challenge. So again, I trade live every single morning. If you guys want to learn a little bit more about our swing trading challenge and work with my Learn Plan Profit group, it is literally the only group that I work with on a closure basis. I put one of our discount codes in the description. I have 10 available spots with that discount. It's the first link in the description. If you're ready to kick off 2022, especially if you're a full-time student or a full-time worker and you want something that accommodates your schedule and you want to approach it in a much more relaxed way by focusing on quality companies, then we love to have you not only join us for our live trading sessions every day, but as well as the swing trading challenge that is exclusive to our Learn Plan Profit 2.0 team. I hope that I earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.